What's going on guys, Switchboo here, also known as Cobby from the Better Discord Gaming Channel. So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install themes to your Switch. So there's two files that you're going to need. You're going to need a theme of your choice, which I will put a link in the description so you can go to the website and download one. And you're also going to need NX Theme Installer that will also be provided as a link in the description. So the first thing you want to do is you want to either insert your SD card or USB into the computer and mount your switch to the PC. So that I'm going to do that now, guys. Give me two seconds. So, guys, there you can see that I've just mounted my SD card to the computer, and here it is. So, the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to your switch folder. And once you're in your switch folder, what you want to do is drag the nxthemes installer.nro file in here like so. Once you've done that, guys, what you want to then do is put your SD card back into your switch and boot into atmosphere slash custom firmware. So what I'm going to do now is pause the video, switch over to my phone camera and show you what to do on the switch. So guys, once you've switched over to the Switch console and booted into Atmosphere, what you want to do is go ahead and head over to the Album section, like so. And if you scroll across, you will see NX Themes Installer. You want to click A on the following application. And basically, what you'll get is when you install the application and load it up, you will get to install a custom theme, you need to extract the home menu first. This process may take several minutes. Do not let the console go into sleep mode. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click A and let it extract the following home menu. You will get this message. Just go ahead and click A, A again, A again. And it will bring you to this screen. So then what you want to do, guys, is you want to go ahead and mount your SD card back up to the computer again. So you can copy the theme of your choice across to your switch, which I will do now. So, guys, once you're back at the computer, like I said before, you need to remount your SD card back to the computer. So I will do this now. And as you can see, there we go. So now that you've extracted the home menu previously on the switch, you should see a folder called themes and it will just look like this. You've got two files in there. So what you want to do is you want to head over to where you downloaded your switch theme to, i.e. mine's in this folder here. As you can see, it's a little PlayStation theme that I've downloaded. As you can see in here, you've got five different, five or six different files. One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. So six files. What you actually want to do is just go ahead and drag this folder in. So whatever the name of your theme folder is, just drag the whole folder across. Mine's PlayStation. This is a PlayStation theme that I've downloaded just for the video purpose. So once you've dragged that across, what you want to do again is go ahead and inject, eject your SD card and head back over to the switch where we can now go ahead and install the theme. So what I'm going to do guys is eject my switch. There you go. So now I'm going to head back over to my phone camera once again to show you guys what we now need to do on the switch console. So guys, as you can see, we're now back over at the switch. I am currently just sat in Hecate at the moment. So what I'm going to do is boot into custom firmware. So if I just hit launch, and hit atmosphere custom firmware and just let my switch load this might take a couple of seconds guys do apologize So guys, as you can see, we're now on the home menu of the switch. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and unlock the switch as so. You're going to head over to albums once again. And you're going to go over to NX theme installer and launch that by pressing A. Once you've done that, guys, what you then want to do is go down to themes here and flick across. As you can see, there is the PlayStation theme. So what I'm going to do now is 
Bear with me a second, guys. My phone's gone out of focus. What we're going to do is click A on the PlayStation. And as you can see, guys, the six files that um, I showed you earlier on the computer are now in a list here. So what you want to do is go down each individual file and click A on each one to install each part of the theme. So what I'm going to do now is click A on this one. Let it install. Click A to finish. Scroll down to the home menu. Click A. Let it install. Click A to finish. Scroll down to the lock screen one. Press A. Press A again for when it's finished. Settings page. Click A. Let it finish. Click A. User select. Click A. Click A again once it's finished. Down to the user page. Press A. Let it extract it. Once it's finished, click A. And that's everything. So guys, once you've completed this, what you're going to need to do next is you're going to need to reboot your Switch. So what I normally usually do is go down to reboot, press the reboot button, and let it reboot. As you can see, guys, it's now rebooted me back to Hecate again. So what I'm going to do is boot Atmosphere Custom Firmware once again. Gonna let atmosphere load once again. Nearly there, guys. Just bear with it a second. And there, as you can see, guys, already. We have got the PlayStation custom theme installed. So if I click A three times, there you guys go. You've got a nice looking PlayStation 4 theme on the Switch console. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. There's not much really to it. It was just a simple tutorial because I know a couple of people have been struggling on how to install themes. Thank you for watching. Peace.